So this is The Descent of the Holy Ghost by Titian. It was painted in 1545. Um, and Titian was a prolific presence in the height of the Renaissance. Um, he was especially celebrated in Venice, where they had a special name for him. He was called the Sun Admits the Stars. Um, which is very high praise because this is the same time as Michelangelo and Da Vinci and Raphael, so I'm not sure about that. But um, he is thought to be the greatest Venetian painter of all time. Um, it's typical of his large-scale dramatic paintings. Um, the actual piece um, measures over 18 feet by almost 9 feet. Um, and it's an altarpiece in the Santa Maria della Salute Church in Venice. Um, the painting provides a beautiful reflection on the first Pentecost. So if you want to kind of zoom in, I'm going to read to you um, from Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly a sound came from heaven like a rush of a mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as a fire distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Okay, so... We can see the tongues of fire. We see the apostles and the holy women receiving the Holy Spirit with expressive gestures. Um, the dove seems to materialize out of a bright light above, sending down rays and the tongues of fire. Everyone seems in different states of awe, shock, and prayer. Mary is seated in the center, directly under the dove in the brightest ray of light. I believe it is Peter to the right of Mary um, here. And interestingly, he is fully facing her, just staring directly at her face. And I think there's plenty to meditate on here. Our first Pope turning to Mary, the perfect disciple in this moment. This is the birth of our church. Right after this happens, Peter stands up and gives a message that everyone understands. He calls them to go and be baptized, and 3,000 people are baptized that day. This explosion of life and growth at our church's beginning is possible for us today. We're invited to see what he did at Pentecost and to believe that he can do this in our own prayer lives here at Sacred Heart and in the Universal Church. <laughs>